Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more CSGO news. First of all, I do want to make this noted, guys. My last video is super important. If you guys are CSGO fans, even NIP fans or NIP haters, an update on the situation, guys. Huge allegations towards Heaton from Fiflarn, as well as NIP's first CEO has now responded. The case is crazy. So if you guys want to watch that video, it was released a couple of hours ago. I will link that down below for all of you guys. Please show your support in the comment section or in the likes as well with that video. Crazy things happening for NIP and the crazy things do continue in other CS good news. We have been blessed with a scene that has crazy news pretty much all the time. I've said crazy news probably six times in the past few days alone. So speaking of which guys, roster changes and announcements have been made in the past couple of hours or the past couple of days. First of which, Pasha Biceps is now returning again to competitive CSGO. This time though for a more well-noted team. If you guys did not know, he's been kind of playing with this youngsters lineup, this team known as Youngsters, and they are, as expected, a super young lineup. That seemingly is now done as he is now joining a AGO on trial and if you are confused don't worry I am super confused too by this this does mean his stint with youngsters is probably done with that though we have the XCOM AGO if you guys remember it was actually XCOM and AGO two separate entities two separate organizations they then combined and got rid of players so now they're going to return to CSGO with this roster with a few on trial members Pasha Biceps being one of them it just it, it's a weird decision because Polish CSGO right now is so confusing no one really knows besides a couple of teams where where they are going and what these players are doing. It's seemingly players are just going here, then coming back here, then going there, then coming back here. I mean, Okalicious from Virtus Pro, he was on Virtus Pro. He left that product a while ago. He was then on Youngsters, and Pasha Biceps was also in Youngsters, and now he's leaving for AGO. It's it's a triangle of Polish fricking. It's like they're in desperate search for the right combination of the same 15 players just going back and forth and back and forth. Either way, though, congratulations to Pasha. I hope he puts, puts himself back on the main stage, which I don't know if this is going to be the roster to do so, um, obviously for uh, for clear reasons. But on top of that, you got a social media manager. I'm not even sure if it's the same one, but for AGO, their social media manager has now been well noted for for what? For making fun of beating girls in CS:GO. So a very peculiar choice by Pasha. I put it. I hope it puts his name back on the map as as it is. I'm not I'm never going to down talk the guy for coming back to CS:GO as, I, as we all love to see him. But this is a very interesting choice for him. And speaking of interesting choices, which could be even more breaking news out there for interesting choices. That's FNX. He has now been signed to a brand new Brazilian roster. It's going to be Red Cannons. They are now joining the CSGO team with a new roster on screen for all of you guys. FNX being one of them and his post alone, it blew up. 340k views on Twitter is no small feat. Almost 10,000 likes. This guy still has huge popularity in the Brazilian scene as well as the organization being pretty fairly well known as well. They have announced a brand new CSGO roster. FNX is a part of it. I have no idea how this is going to affect himself being an MIBR ambassador but I'm going to assume it's pretty tough to be an ambassador for one team while playing for a separate team, although we have owners of CSGO teams playing for other different teams as well, so maybe it could still work out for the guy. Either way, it's two peculiar changes. Pasha Biceps is now back with AGO, or XCOM AGO, I should say. Who would have guessed that? And now we have FNX being signed, uh, potentially coming back. This could be his way back, right? But he's first going to sign with a team known as Red Canids, or Canids. I don't know. Also in small news out there, guys, an update did drop last night, updating a few of the player stickers that were actually not released. Um, the correct ones at first. Uh, among those, though, were not Dick Stacy. So they corrected a few player stickers. I believe Busters is still incorrect as well. Dick Stacy did not get his submission, but he did actually give us what his submission was going to be. And I'm, I'm guessing, I'm assuming a lot of you guys out there can, can guess what that is. It's clever. Dick, it's really clever. It's too bad Valve did turn it down, and, and we'll see what happens with your sticker prices, which I am super curious about. By the way, guys, post-major, I will be showing you my investments. I just want to wish you guys all the best of luck when it comes to investments, because I still have no idea what I'm doing. For the few of you guys who have been asking me what I'll be buying, I'm going to keep it a secret for now, because I don't want to influence things in the incorrect way. And very lastly for CSK News, quite possibly the, some of the saddest news um, out there I've seen in some time, and obviously as well, so far, some of the biggest backlash a team is going to get for for a roster change they have made probably throughout 2019 so far that's going to be heroic guys releasing nato sapphics after just three months of being with the team they've already announced their replacements as well and when they first announced this it was apparently due to role difficulties and that's because apparently blame f is going to take over the igo role as they've now announced alongside their new replacement for nato sapphics that's going to be Bo Rupp from tricked esports now i'm not going to say it's a terrible move i think it's actually a pretty solid move and if it does work out for them Bo Rupp's a very solid upcoming player as well and if they think 
JMF is confident enough to take the IGL reins, th then so be it. You know, he's obviously a big figure on that team, a big, strong figure, and they must all look up to him and want to take those roles and switch him up a bit. So I can't blame them if they actually think it's a good move, but I think the other side of things is very apparent, guys. We all know if you followed NATO Sapphics, either from his YouTube or from his trials throughout CSGO as well, this was his first opportunity to actually take part in top tier CS ever, and it took quite some time to get to this part, and everyone out there who's actually spoken to the guy knows how genuine of a character he is, how good of a character he is, and how good of a CSGO player he is on top of all of that, so you combine all of these things and you kind of make it look like maybe Bo Rupp's not the best replacement for him. If it does work out for them, I, ho I hope the best for these guys, but they did crack the top 15, top 12 with NATO Sapphics on their roster for just three months' time. They had very mixed results, but they took down some very solid teams in either best of ones or best of threes. It was, again, very back and forth, back and forth. They've beaten teams like North and Vitality and Ends, but also lost to uh, teams of varying success as well. They've beaten the Vanguards, the Optics. They are a top 15 team in the world, but they are not a consistent team in the world right now. So I hope the best for this change, guys, but you have to understand why it is so sad, especially because NATO Sapphix has tweeted about this, guys. His statement is coming soon, and yes, I just feel so bad. If we can take one small, small bit of information from this that actually seems kind of cool or kind of nice or, you know, kind of funny at least, at least we know that Heroic, by this move, has lost a few fans. Well, actually, a lot of fans. I love my Twitter fault. I love you guys on Twitter so much. I think at one point in time, we counted up to oh, close to 50 fans they have lost so far because of this trade. And uh, besides that, though, obviously, heartbreaking news, guys. We will wait on Nato Sapphic's statement as to exactly what happened between him and Heroic and why he was replaced. As always, my name is Jake. I'll be back here tomorrow breaking down more CSGO and esports news, guys. It's been so much fun. I've had to drink so much coffee this week, and it's only Tuesday. Why does it feel like a god dang Thursday? Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the support and the love on both, uh, of course, YouTube and Twitter. You guys are utterly amazing, and you don't know how much you affect my mood. Okay, I'll see you back here tomorrow. Until then, take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon.